Alright guys, welcome to uh, CDO Archery for its tech tip. This tech tip is going to be for the, um, the Reveal X 2021 firmware update for either firmware 4 or firmware 5. I'm going to go ahead and go into this in depth and show you where you're going to go. You're going to go first to the, uh, the RevealCellCam.com. That's going to be your Reveal Cell Camera Tactic Cam, um, either your portal entry to go ahead and check on your pictures you can go off your computer or you can go into the uh, the support page right next to it then you're going to go down to your frequently asked questions you're going to have a new tab pull up fastest way to get to the uh, update is to go over here where it says Tacticam click on Tacticam and right here see it highlights up green reveal firmware updates then all you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and it's the fourth one down new reveal X 2021 optional firmware upgrade once you get into that it's going to give you some directions there's a video but what you're going to need to do let's go down and it's going to show here here if you go into your app your firmware in your camera itself is either going to be a firmware number four which starts with a four or firmware number five which starts with a five what you're going to do is you're going to go down here and it's going to say click the link you can either do firmware update four or firmware update five so what we're going to do is Nick needs firmware update five so we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on five it's going to pop up you're going to have to download all four of these onto a card. So what we're going to do is I have this card reader. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use the USB. I'm going to pop open this where I have all my memory cards. And my and favorites, my favorites are, are the, the uh, SanDisk Sand Extreme, Extreme 32 30 gigabyte, gigabyte uh, class, class 10, 10 U3. U3. We're going to go ahead and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to Plug it, plug it into, into our, our reader. reader, and, and we're going to take, take it and we're going to put it, put it into, our, into computer. our computer. You'll hear we'll the computer, computer update, update. saying there's saying something, something plugged, plugged in. in. There, it there it goes. So now what we're going to do, we'll just close that. Minimize that for a second. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go in here going to go to the memory card itself then you're going to right click reformat and I found that the quick format doesn't do it so you're going to have to unclick the quick format and then hit start you're going to erase all data so this takes a few minutes we're going to shut down for a second until it's ready to go don't forget everybody uh, once uh, this video goes in what we're going to do is we're going to take anybody that comments and likes and subscribes from the channel from this video is going to get entered into our 750 subscriber sweepstakes, which will be a Reveal X 2.0 camera. So what we're going to do is we're going to take anybody that views this, likes and shares and subscribes to it, and we're going to see that you shared it, put you down on the list. Once you're on the list, we're going to do a live giveaway on September 1st of the Reveal X 2.0 camera. So make sure you go ahead, get in there, like, subscribe, share this, uh, share this channel to your page, and subscribe to the channel itself. So thank you guys. Just give us a minute. We're going to get back to you after this update is done. Okay, so now that the uh, card is formatted, we're going to hit OK. We're going to close that. We're going to go back into our firmware. What we're going to do is we're going to right click on every one of them. We're going to do download. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead
make sure that they all download. They're going to say keep. Some of them won't. So now you'll see you have your CFG, your BRN, and then your VLX BRN, VLX CFG. All four are in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go out of this, back into our file manager, click on your USB D. You have nothing in here. They don't want you to have anything in this file except for those four uh, pieces of information. So now what we're going to go to is we're going to go to our downloads. We're going to click on one, hit the shift bar, and highlight all four. We're going to send it to our USB drive. Now you go to your drive, and there's all four. So now all you have to do with this now is take this card by right clicking here, hit eject, and now this memory card is good to go to the field. So next video part will be us in the field using this card to set up our Reveal X 2021 so that it will send video and other data. So stick with us. Alright guys, so we're out here in the field. We're at the Reveal X that we have that's over here at the uh, soybean plot. What we're going to do is we're going to take out the SD card that's in there. We'll put this SD card in, it has the update for the firmware. It says place in the camera, press and hold your test button, flip up till the green status light starts flashing green. It is flashing green. Hopefully this door stays open for you. That says it can take several minutes. It says he wants you to make sure that you have four bars of battery power before you start this because it could take a few minutes. So we're going to let this run. It says once it's done blinking, it'll go through a cycle, it'll power down and then recycle like it's going to do its regular uh, setup update. So it'll start flashing all these numbers here. All the, the green dots will start flashing. So while we're waiting on that, I'll just pan across. To the soybean field. I went ahead and weed whacked the entire uh, fence line here on the side of the the, uh, the clover because it was starting to touch the fence and we didn't want it to short out. So uh, too bad I didn't get it on video, but I got shocked twice. All right, so let's get back to the camera. It looks like it is cycling now. So it only took about a minute. Just checking for signal. says once everything is set, that means the update is done. So once it gets its signal, we'll shut it down. All right, she's got signal. So we're going to go ahead and turn off. We're going to take the firmware update out. We're going to put our new card in. Put her back in setup. Once again, every camera, once you set it up, it'll do this. I always like to wait and make sure that I have signal first before I turn it on to the on position.